Hello, hello, hello everyone, Zildjian here with another episode, let's talk about things, yeah, more comic book movie stuff, yeah, so, um, I've, I just read this article, Venom, new image confirms movie's villain, so yeah, Eddie Brock, he got his uh, journal out and he has a bunch of questions, and yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead skim through the article and yeah, talk about it. Yeah, so, yeah, the the movie Venom is supposed to be the start of the Sony's, I want to say Spider-Man universe, although Spider-Man technically won't be in it, not for any time soon, because he's currently in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, yeah, with Tom Holland, but yeah, so, basically, like, it kind of takes place in the Sony's version of the MCU, I guess, like, like Tom Holland is Spider-Man in the Spider Sony universe, the Sony Marvel comic book universe, but it doesn't take. It's not the same continuity as the Marvel Studios and Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I guess it's like a parallel universe, maybe like where it's identical. But yeah, do you understand what I'm trying to say? So in a sense, it takes place in its own version of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This yeah, hopefully that makes sense. So all, all the events are, well, I mean, it'll probably won't reference any of the Avengers or anything like that, but it'll probably reference Spider-Man Homecoming or any future Spider-Man movies. But yeah, there's also a different article saying like, oh, like, yeah, they're confirmed that Tom Holland will be in it. Um, here's a here a article from Digital Spy. You can go Google it yourself. <laughs> yeah. So, um... Who the hell is <laughs> a John Sh John Sh Strep Snap like saying Venom won't be facing facing with Spider Man, but he's gonna face Peter Parker, as in Tom Holland will be in the film as Spider Man. I'm not Spider Man as Peter Parker, but not as Spider Man. Not sure what the hell that means. Maybe maybe he gets interviewed. Maybe it's like a short cameo, a couple of seconds, couple of minutes. You know, throughout this he. Had, Eddie Brock is at the school investigating news and asking the high school students or like etc something like that you know maybe because like he he was wasn't he in that uh, vulture attack so maybe I don't know he's just following up on that or something something generic uh yeah something that that like vague re like as a reference a nod to Spider-Man Homecoming and then that's it like Tom Holland is in it for like five minutes two minutes or maybe he, yeah, something like that. Maybe he'll just be in a, maybe it's just his picture in a newspaper article that Eddie Brock wrote. Like, he, Tom Holland won't even literally be in the film. He's just a, like, one second picture cameo, right? That'd be, that'd be enough to reference this, the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. Yeah. Yeah. But the main article is from IGN. Venom new image confirms movie villains, but yeah. So yeah, this territory I'm not actually too familiar with. Like, I yeah, I don't think I've really read any Venom comics, cause I mean definitely Spider-Man is cool, and I I love the cartoons though. I love seeing Venom in the cartoons and the Sam Raimi movie with with Venom. That was garbage. I was very excited to see Topher Grace as Venom, but I want to see him become like huge bulking muscles but that wasn't happening and then he freaking died in the end that's dumb like damn f you comic book movies like a, like a lot of you like a lot of the comic book movies comic book movies are great and entertaining but then they kill the villain off in the end of the movie i, I guess that's more realistic like you got a genocidal homicidal maniac killing people hundreds of people thousands of people like of course you're gonna kill him like why? Like why would you try to arrest them and send them to prison? You know, although in real life, like terrorists, uh, terrorists, mass shooters, the police does try to take them in and arrest them after they killed hundreds of people. So I guess comic book movies are un entirely unrealistic by killing the villain villains, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although yeah. Yeah, why am I saying that? Yeah, but yeah. Comic book... Comic book... Ah. 
comic book movies slurred speech. Anyway, comic book movies. That was a line from Community. It's a zombie Halloween episode. Anyway, comic book movies do have a problem with killing off all the freaking villains. Pretty much all of them. Except for, like, Thor. They never kill off Loki. For some reason. I mean, and he's easily the best villain. There's... Only a handful of villains that they did not explicitly kill off. I mean, I've read something about Red Skull is contractually obliged to return if if called upon. You know, he will he'll go weaving. But apparently, he hated playing Red Skull and he hated playing Megatron and Transformers. That's too bad. Oh, well, Megatron, I understand that those Transformers movies suck balls. But anyway, that's off topic. But dang, Red Skull, I thought he was great as Red Skull. It would have been nice to see him more. Like, he should have came back in Captain America Civil War, right? And and Zola. What the hell? He's a freaking computer. And he died. He's a freaking computer. You could be like Skynet. Spread yourself everywhere, everywhere. Like, why you have to be in, like, some ancient ass, like, 100-year-old computers that don't even work? Like, but it was, like, a nice nod to the Anim Zola in, like, a chest, a chest of the robot clone monster or whatever the hell he's in but he was just in a computer with no actual monster body robot body or whatever like yeah like Krang and stuff like that but yeah that kind of sucked it was a nice nod but also complete garbage <laughs> and Baron Zemo was just a regular dude regular civilian who somehow became a super spy and rigged the entire <coughs> Captain America Civil War <coughs> Damn, what's wrong with my voice? <coughs> Must be making too many videos, eh? Or a eating way too much spicy food lately. It's murdering my throat. Yeah. So, oh my god, I didn't even discuss the actual article yet. So, yeah. So, basically, the, the Venom, the article, the, the, the notebook reveals t three entries. It's, qu it's questions Brock is seeking answers to during his investigation. The first entry is... So how exactly does the Life Foundation go about testing its pharmaceuticals? So yeah, this confirms that the Life Foundation will be the primary antagonist, the villain of the story. And for those that don't know, me, myself included, the Life Foundation is a shadowy survivalist group who believe the world will end in nuclear holocaust. That's actually kind of close to real life with Donald Trump threatening nuclear war with North Korea. World War Three incoming, right? Yeah, their <laughs> their wealthy, powerful clientele aim to emerge from the shelter to build a new society post-apocalypse. To protect them, the Life Foundation creates a security force of five symbiotes. In the comics, these five horrific beings, Agony, Phage, Riot, Lasher, and Scream, respond from Venom and went on to wreak havoc because symbiotes. Yeah, why would you think a symbiote, a killer symbiote, is gonna freaking become a great bodyguard? Why not, like, create a Superman copy or something? Or a Spider-Man or something? <laughs> we'll just have people in Iron Man suits. Like, bootleg Iron Man suits. Because there's, like, thousands of villains <laughs> copying, stealing Iron Man suits. Even the heroes do that. Yeah. Anyway... So yeah, the, the the Venom director Rubin Fleischer said the biggest comic book influences on the movie is Lethal Pro Protector and Planet of the Symbiotes. So yeah, Lethal Protector also has has Ven ah, Venom, Eddie Brock, Venom has an anti-hero instead of a villain and it also features the Life Foundation. So that's cool. And it's set in San, Franci San Francisco, and the movie is also in set in San Francisco. That's interesting. So maybe it'll be a, a pretty accurate uh, adaptation of this Lethal Protector storyline, which is pretty rare in comic books because usually, like Planet Hulk and Thor Ragnarok, they just take like one percent, a fraction of a fra fractesimal. Like it's not even a fraction. It's like fractesimal. It's like zero point zero 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 one percent of the comic book story, and bam, they take like two scenes from it. Two like yeah, it's like crazy craziness. So so far, it looks like they got the vague similarities. Hopefully, they'll get the rest of it right, right? But Sony so far has been the movies have been ass, 
ass. Like, like, I think all three movies focus on Ben, Uncle Ben getting killed, right? No, was it? Same man, was that what the the one with the villain or with the Venom? Yeah, the first one was Green Goblin, second one was Doctor Octopus, and the third one was Sandman and Venom. So the Doctor Octopus one didn't focus on Uncle Ben, but the freaking third movie, like what the hell? The retconning it so that Sandman is is the ro- not Sandman was the robber who killed who accidentally killed Uncle Ben instead of that robber that Spider Man wanted to kill in the first movie. Like what? <laughs> yeah. Freaking Sony, you guys suck. Or maybe that's just Sam Raimi sucking. Uh, yeah. Say Sony, just sell back the rights. Just let the rights give back the rights to Marvel and let them make this Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. And then the second entry in the book. What about the allegations your empire is built on? Yeah. Basically, it's evil. Confirming they're evil. The final entry is the most curious because it. It's partially obscured by Brock's finger. From what they can tell, it appears to read that you recruit the most vulnerable of us to volunteer for the testing that more often than not end up killing them. Okay. The implication is clear. The Life Foundation Foundation experiments yield tragic results. Yep. Although I did read, like, in the Wikipedia, like, is the villain supposed to be, um, Carnage? Let's see. I'm, I have the Wikipedia open up right now. And it doesn't really say. Interesting. Wait, let me look it up. Hopefully you can't hear the... Event, the main... Oh, no, that's talking about a long time ago. Carnage. Nope. Oh, I think it was, it was supposed to... Also expected to appear in Venom, but I guess not anymore. Oh well. And then in the next Sony Marvel Universe is gonna be Silver and Black, Silver Sable and Black Cat. Actually, looking forward to that. Yay, women! I mean, I don't know why. Why the red hats? Why conservatives are always like, oh no, women as main characters. That's terrible. Like feminism, liberalism. Like, dude, chill out. It's just a freaking comic book movie. It's just a movie. And you know they're gonna be like half naked, scantily clad in the movie. Like they're gonna be wearing these super sexy outfits. Like really, <laughs> like what are you complaining about? Like Wonder Woman, yeah, she she got the she got the cleavage going on. She's wearing a short skirt. Like feminists, the actual feminist liberals were complaining. Like why is she wearing a skirt? Why does she she wear pants? You know why does she? Doesn't she wear full body armor? Why is she like... And then they're like wearing like high heel wedges and stuff. Like they're like running into battle with high heel wedges. And she got a short... Not short skirt. But like she got a skirt and then the cleavage. Like half of her body isn't even armored. So yeah. Like if if you're like... You're like conservative and you're like thinking... Oh my god it's feminism. Liberalism. Like no it's not. It's just making... It's moneyism. Capitalism. They don't really care about, like, if, if you think the comic book movie companies, like, caring about diversity and minorities and women and all, and civil rights, no. Maybe a little bit, but most of it is to make that cash money. The only color they care about is green. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, I am looking forward to these movies, even though they kind of... I'm pretty sure they're gonna suck. Although, yeah, it would be nice to see an actual humongous venom and like fighting. And I remember it was supposed to be fighting against uh, Carnage. That'd be pretty cool. Nice change of pace. We don't need Spider Man in every Spider Man movie, right? Yeah. Although it would be better if Sony just sells it all back to Marvel and DC too. Just sell all your characters, sell sell D- Mar- Warner Brothers, sell DC Comics to Marvel so they can make super amazing movies. Because even though I did enjoy the DC comic book movies, everyone else seems to hate them, but I think they're good. But I mean, not as funny as the Marvel ones though. Well, Wonder Woman had some funny scenes, but yeah. Man of Steel, Batman v, for, v Superman, really depressing, but also great action but yeah 
I need some comedy. I need comedy. I love comedy. So yeah, that's all the time we got for this episode. So hopefully everyone's enjoying this vlog, enjoying this series. Be sure to let me know down below. Subscribe, comment, rate the video. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.